Jazz, and welcome back to Cat Dog Pig Duck plays on Feed the Beast Horizons. How ya doing? So, guys, uh, if you remember in the last episode, uh, we created some resonant energy cells. Um, we created those using Enderium, and they hold like 10 million redstone flux, and that is insane. That is the highest tier energy storage i think we're gonna get at least in this mod pack um i haven't looked into reactor craft but i still think that's pretty much the highest tier energy storage we're gonna get so we need to concentrate on energy production uh in the last episode we made some compression dynamos and they're great uh well maybe that was two episodes ago i can't even keep track anymore i'm so lost hey how you doing down there <laughs> I need to get back in like first person mode because this is screwed me up. Well, um, I was doing some digging around in the mod packs and one of the mod packs in Horizons is called Engineer's Toolbox. Um, Engineer's Toolbox is a very technical mod. As you can see here, I have a couple of the blocks from it. And it's comprised mainly of these modular sockets. These modular sockets are amazing things. So let's put one down. As you can see, it just looks like kind of like a bunch of holes around a block, right? But what you can do with this thing is you can put like a solar panel on top. You can put a smelter on this side. You can put an inventory on this side. And you can put a water tank on this side as, long, as well as this side or the bottom. So it's a completely kind of modular sort of thing and it's kind of amazing so we're gonna get into that this episode and as you can see the Sun is setting uh, good night sweet Sun we will see you soon actually we're gonna go to bed right now but um, engineers toolbox is kind of amazing but it is a bit technical so we're going to dive right into it um, the first thing we're gonna use it for is energy production we're not going to use it for anything more except for that this episode. Um, one of the things that I saw in it, let's type it in here real quick. We typed in hydro. One of the modules you can put in on the sides of it is something called a hydroelectric turbine. And it's exactly what you think it would be. If we hold down shift, it generates 10 RF per tick. Not the best, but it doesn't require anything. So it's completely passive power generation which is amazing I love that I love passive power generation I love not worrying about things we can just put this in some water and it'll generate some power right but it has a few stipulations to it so let's look at it can only be installed on the sides of a socket okay that sounds fine only one can be installed per socket so you can't put them on all four sides and it creates like 40 RF per tick so that's a stipulation. Can only generate power in a river biome. So, you know, that makes sense, right? It needs to be flowing water. So a river biome would be where there would be flowing water, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the next stipulation is only generates power at Y64 or 40. Now, I understand 64 because 64 is where sea level is, but I don't understand 40 at all. Um, 40 seems a little odd to me, but maybe, maybe you guys can tell me what that means in the comments. I don't know. And only generates power when adjacent to a water source box. Well, of course, it's a hydro. Blah. Good gravy. Okay. So we want to make these guys. Um, as you can see, it takes quite a bit of stuff here. Let's look at the energy input. It requires a blank module. Let's see if we can click these guys in. All right. We got 60 of them. Um, and then it takes some weighted pressure plates. We have 64 of those now. Let's make 64 more just in case we need some more because as you can see it takes six per item. And then something called a PSU which is from eMasher's resource. Oh, this takes redstone and I don't have a lot of redstone at the moment so like, cross your fingers that I have enough to do this. We have 16. What am I missing? I think I'm missing gold nuggets. Let's see here. Gold nuggets. We can make those. Let's make a bunch. Okay, we'll throw those back into our 
inventory system. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can make these guys now. All right, we made 64. Let's see if we can make 64 more. We can make six more. We are out of lead? Are we really out of lead? Oh my gosh, I gotta go mining, guys. Goodness gracious. Well, anyway, um, now that that's done, did we make the hydro part of it yet? Let's see here, hydro. I got like halfway through that and got ahead of myself. Let's see. All right, we made 21 of these. What are we missing? We're missing weighted pressure plates. I knew that was that was what we were gonna be missing. All right, 64 weighted pressure plates. Let's see if we can make a few more of these. All right, we have 28. That's gonna have to last us for now until we get more resources. But uh, the way I see it, these are gonna help us get resources because they'll help us get power. Wait, what is this? Why is this not stackable? 47, 47. Oh, weird. What happens when I put this down? Nothing. Okay. Well, there are a few tools that go with this, so let's take a look at those. Let's type in, uh, let's go here and let's type in at engineer. No, I did not type in at for somehow, for some reason I typed in capital E. Let's type in engineer. I'm imagining there's going to be a wrench involved. There's a redstone wand. There's a hand boiler. I don't even know what that is. All right, we're going for the wrench. Takes a button and that. All right, we can make that. Let's click that and let's type in wrench. There's gotta be 80 wrenches in this game. All right, we've got, are we really missing a button? We are missing one button. That is crazy to me. There we go, 64 buttons. We've got a wrench, good gravy. Okay, let's see if we can make this thing. So what we need to do now is fly outside our window here and let's put, let's turn F3 on and see if we can find a river biome. Currently we are over a river biome. And it looks like I already got a few things set up here. So let's get some more. So if I hold down, oh, oh, shift and that, let's do this. Urgh, ah, it's so hard to do with this thing. Anyway, let's turn off the flying and jump on the top of these. Ooh, ah! Oh my goodness, that's, that's difficult. All right, let's see if we can set up a few of these. Oh, nope, that's too far. As you can see, when we're on this one, we're in something called Heathland. I don't know if that's like Heathcliff, but uh, it's called Heathland. Who knows? All right, let's go here, over here. Ah, goodness. All right, let's set up some more over here. Plonk, plonk. Guys, I don't know who put this algae block in the game. E-Masher's resource. I gotta tell you, I hate algae. Algae is useless and it needs to go. All right, we're still in a river biome. This is good news. And this is a heathland. So let's go back this way. And is this a heathland? Actually, yeah, it is. Okay, so let's actually set up our energy outputs here. So if we go clunk, 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 clunk. All right, so we want our energy outputs to be on the top. But then we want our hydroelectric turbines to be on the side, right? So let's go into fly mode. I'm sorry to have F3 open. Actually, we can turn it off now. There we go. So let's go on the sides and set up these guys. Okay. All right, so we've got some hydroelectric thingamabopperies now. So let's see, as you can tell, they're already, look at my uh, little top, I don't know what that's called, it's called Wayla or something. As you can see, it's already generating energy. They're already full of stuff, so what we need to do now is, let's go back up. Well, let's see if our 
little iPad thing works from down here. But it looks like I don't have it on me, so never mind. All right. All right, we're going back up, and we're going to go grab some energy conduits, right? Let's go in here. Let's type in conduit. And we don't need the, the top tier conduits. We just need some basic ones. We only have nine leadstone. So let's grab these hardened. And yeah, let's also type in resonant. I think I have one in here. We have one in resonant energy cell. Okay. Cool. So this is what we're going to use to store our energy. We'll get back into fly mode here. And as you can see, there's our little guys down there. So we can then take our hardened energy conduits. Can I, do I have to shift click on it? I guess I do. I got to shift click on these guys. All right, that sounds fine. So you definitely need these modular energy outputs to at least output the energy, right? All right, let's turn on flying mode again. And let's see if we can get this resonant, resonant energy cell hooked up. All right, currently it's not collecting ener any energy, but if we set this to blue, oh, look at that, guys. It's totally collecting a bunch of energy. Cool. So, guys, this is totally, well, I wouldn't call it free energy, but this is free enough, you know? This just cost us a few resources, and look at this. We're already collecting a bunch of energy for free. This is very cool. There are a few stipulations you have to go by, but what we could do is um, something like this. You know, we go out two blocks, and let's turn on F3 again and make sure we're in a river biome. We'll go underwater here. And there we go. And we'll set up some more of these. Oh, what are you doing up there? Ah! Sometimes this stuff is so tricky. All right, let's stop flying. Plunk. Come here, you. So cool, we can do the exact same thing, like a block over, and generate even more energy. Let's see here, let's see if we can get this going. I don't know if I have enough resources to do this, but you know, this is perfectly scalable to the point that you can just keep it going on and on and on and on. So yeah, let's set up the rest of these and let's generate, wait, is this Heathland? We're in Heathland. All right, this is River, this is Heathland. So the, you need to go, ooh, oh heavens, oh dear. And you need to go, get out of there. So what we need to do is put the energy outputs on the top like we did on the other one and listen to that scary noise that Minecraft makes. Good gravy. Oh, we're out of those. But we've only got 14 of these hydroelectric things. And we put them on this side. Yeah, so we need to put them on the other side as well. Let's get rid of this algae. Get out of my face, algae. Let's start at this end. Oh, oh. All right. There we go. So we've got one left over. And if we put this down on here like this, we are going to be collecting energy like crazy. And this is perfectly modular to the point that we can pretty much, you know, just keep this going down the sides of the river. And look at this guy. He's collecting energy like crazy now. Cool. Now, Granted, this is a resonant energy cell, and it is going to take quite a lot of these uh, hydroelectric plants to get it anywhere close to filling this guy up. But this is the highest tier energy collector, and these are the lowest tier, you know, energy generators, I guess you could say. Wait, is... Oh, this one doesn't even have it on it, so let's take that off. Get out of there! So cool, guys. Um, let's turn F3 off. That's bugging the crap out of me. And let's go back up in our base. So we've got some good energy collection going on here. 
you know, as we gather more and more resources, we can keep this going one per. So as you see, like that's one, that's one. One over could be one and another one could be, and this could go exponentially, you know, right? And we're just gonna, we're gonna basically create Hoover Dam here. And it's going to basically encapsulate this river biome and make us a bunch of energy. So cool, guys. Very cool. I like that. And yeah, we can go ahead and destroy this chest. We don't need it anymore. Let's not worry about that. I want to show you one thing real quick. So as you know, I've been collecting a lot of wither skulls. And, you know, instead of fighting a wither or something... What I did with them was put them on my nether portal like this. Look at that, guys. Isn't that creepy as hell? Look at these guys. They're so creepy. Oh, heavens above. So anyway, guys, uh, I think we're going to end it right there. Uh, as always, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give me a big old thumbs up. I appreciate that. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. I would like to have a nice subscriber like a you. You guys are awesome, and I don't say it enough. You guys are awesome. Um, and until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye.